Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I have a very special interactive card project featuring the brand new Pink Fresh Studio Magical Holiday Release. I'm going to show you how you can use your press plate to add hot foil to glitter cardstock because if there was ever a time for glitter cardstock, the holidays are that time. <laughs> So I'll be featuring this brand new radiating snowflake press plate, the coordinating die. I did want to point out that this product suite also has a stencil available. And then I will also be using the holiday greetings sentiment set. Now, I wasn't sure if I'd be using the stamp set or the press plate set. I ended up using the press plates for my project today, but this has a stamp set available as well as a coordinating die set. Now for my glitter cardstock, I'm going to be using the Pink Fresh Studio Glacier Glitter Cardstock. It is a white glitter cardstock. You could try this on whatever glitter cardstock you may have on hand. Keep in mind that glitter does have some texture to it. So I don't think you'll ever get like perfect results, but these results are pretty good. So I'm trimming down a piece of that glitter cardstock and I'm also trimming down some champagne foil for my hot foiling. And I'm going to stack this up and secure the foil and the press plate in place on my glitter cardstock because I don't want it to shift as I'm doing my foiling. A lot of times I will just place this onto my Glimmer Hot Foil system, allow the press plate to heat up, and then add my foil and my glitter cardstock. But I decided to secure it in place today so that I don't run into any hiccups with this glitter cardstock. Now with that in place, I went ahead and added that to the platform of my warmed up glimmer system and I set the timer and I'm going to add the two shims that come with the glimmer foil system over the top. Once the timer has completed its time, I'm going to remove the base from the platform and run that through my Platinum 6 die cutting machine. Now I'm not using any special tricks to add this foil to the glitter cardstock. I'm not adding any extra shims. I'm not giving it longer on the platform to heat up longer. And I think that this turned out really beautifully. Now I know that this kind of megawatt shine is not for everyone, but if you are someone who loves sparkle and shine at the holidays, I think this is something fun to try out. I wasn't quite sure if it would work right away. I know I've seen Jennifer McGuire do some hot foiling onto glitter cardstock, but this worked like a charm. Look at that hot foiled image on that glitter cardstock. It's going to be the beautiful shimmery focal point of my card. And I did want to show you because there is texture in the glitter cardstock, the foil wasn't perfectly transferred, but on the glitter cardstock, it looks perfect. So now I've grabbed the coordinating radiating snowflake die and I'm lining it up around my hot foiled image and I'm going to run that through my die cut machine. I'm also using a small circle from the nested circles die set from Pink Fresh Studio to die cut some white cardstock. And I'm gonna show you what that's for in just a moment because we are going to make this snowflake an interactive element. So I'm actually going to end up cutting six of those white cardstock circles. And now I'm going to pop this glitter hot foil snowflake out of the backer here. And you can see it die cut beautifully, it foiled beautifully, and it is a stunning focal point for my card. Now in order to make this a spinning interactive element, I'm going to use that same circle that I used to die cut my white cardstock pieces, and I'm going to place it in the center of my snowflake. And this works really well for an image that's larger and that's kind of symmetrical, where you can kind of center that circle in the center of your focal image. Now I have the six white cardstock pieces that I've die cut from white cardstock using that nested circle. I'm going to take and add liquid glue to the front of five of these and I'm going to stack this up. And this is basically going to make like a disc or a chip that I can then place onto my card front and allow the snowflake to kind of spin around it. And this will make a little more sense as we go to put this together. But this is an easy interactive card technique that you could try with any large die cut that you may have in your stash. 
So now I'm just taking these and I take the one without any glue and I place it on the top and then I just pick up the others and then I'm going to take my fingers and kind of press them all together and make sure the sides are nice and lined up so that I have a nice symmetrical disc when I'm done with this. Now I end up adding a couple more layers. This really is to give dimension and kind of that pivot point for my spinning snowflake, but it's also going to build up to add dimension to the sentiment that's going to be underneath it. So I wanted it to be quite thick. So now I have my glitter snowflake here and I've die cut another snowflake from plain white cardstock. I'm adding liquid glue to the back of that glitter layer and I'm going to stack it up onto this plain white die cut layer. Now this is to give this a little bit of weight and a little bit of stability on my card. Since this will be an interactive element, I don't want it to bend and fold as people are kind of playing with that interactive element. Now once that liquid glue set up, I took that same nested circle die and I kind of locked it into place with the previously die cut circle that's on the glitter layer and I'm gonna run this through my die cut machine and now I have that circle die cut through both layers of my snowflake in the exact same place. So because I had that extra circle that die cut from that plain white layer, I went ahead and added that to my stacked up circles. I thought, why not use it <laughs> since I already have it? So I'm just adding some liquid glue and stacking that up. Now I'm taking the A Thrill of Hope sentiment from the Holiday Greetings sentiment press plate set and I'm adding that to my Glimmer Hot Foil system. I set the timer and allowed that to heat up and once that timer was done, I went ahead and removed the base from the platform and moved it over to my Platinum 6 die cutting machine. Then I added my foil with the pretty side down my white cardstock, and then the two shims that come with the Glimmer Hot Foil system. I ran that through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine, and now I have this beautiful Hot Foil sentiment. Now I actually went back and redid this in the blush colored cardstock or the rose gold color to kind of do a mixed metals finish on my card project. I wanted a little bit of change in tones there. And so you're seeing me work with that rose gold piece here. I've also die cut three additional layers to add behind my foiled piece so that I can give it some weight and some heft. And once I stack those up, I'm going to add this to a die cut banner that I die cut with the basic banners die set from some vellum. Now in my stash, I had one of these nested hexagon hot foil elements that I created using the Pink Fresh Studio nested hexagon hot foil set. I had this already done, so I went ahead and added some liquid glue to the back of that, and I added it to an A2 white card base, and then I'm going to take and position my snowflake where I want it, and I have that little disc kind of pressed into the center of it as I position the snowflake so that I can make sure that I'm getting the snowflake exactly where I want it on my card. So I'm just kind of aiming for kind of the lower third on that left hand side and once I have that disc kind of in the general area of where I want my snowflake to land, I'm going to add some liquid glue to the back of that and adhere it to my card front. Now while the glue is still wet, I'll just check my placement to make sure this is going to rotate exactly where I want it. And as long as it's good, I can leave it in place, but I do have some wiggle room time if I need to kind of adjust it up and down or side to side. But this looked pretty good, so I went ahead and pressed it down and I allowed the glue to set up. Now I also had this die cut circle from the center of the snowflake that was die cut from that glitter card stock. I went ahead and put that on the top of this disc that I added to my card front so that behind the sentiment you will see some of that glittered hot foiled snowflake. And now I'm adding my sentiment to that banner that we talked about before. Once the glue is dry, I'm gonna take that snowflake and I'm just going to press it down over that disc that's in place. And this is going to allow it to spin on my card front. Now it won't spin freely, but if you kind of use your finger to turn it, it spins very easily. And to keep that in place, I am going to add my sentiment grouping right over the top 
using some foam adhesive. And because the sentiment is a little bit larger than the circle that I cut from the center of the snowflake, it will keep that snowflake from slipping off the disc. And now I have a really simple interactive card. Now my banner was kind of in the way here. So I just had to fold it up a little bit to make sure that my snowflake could move freely. So here you see the snowflake spinning around as I use my finger to kind of rotate it. I love the way that this turned out and I think it's such a simple way to create a fun interactive element on your card. Now I'm going to add a little bit more sparkle and shine to this card by adding some champagne glitter drops from Pink Fresh Studio. I'm adding those on using some liquid glue and my dual tip embellishment tool. And that finishes off my card for today featuring this brand new beautiful radiating snowflake press plate from Pink Fresh Studio, which is part of their magical holiday release. And the thing that I love about a snowflake is you can use it for the holidays, but you can also use it all winter long. So this would make a great thank you card for all of your holiday gifts as well. I love that this technique is really easy. I love the extra shine of adding hot foil on top of glitter cardstock, and I hope you'll try it out with some of your hot foil plates or press plates that you may have in your stash and some glitter cardstock. Now this project is a part of a blog hop celebrating the new Pink Fresh Studio magical holiday release. So be sure you head on over to my blog for all the details over there. You'll find all the details on the blog hop, some more still shots, more information, and a complete list of supplies. As always, you can check the YouTube description below. I will have links to the featured supplies used in this project there. You will also find a link directly over to my blog to check out all the details on that blog hop. Also, be sure to join me here tomorrow. I will have another interactive card featuring this radiating snowflake better press plate that you're going to want to check out. I want to say thanks so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here so you don't miss any of my paper crafting and card making video tutorials. I really appreciate you being here today. Thanks for joining me again. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the very end. You know if you've made it this far, you are one of my favorites. <laughs> to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click the button on the left side of the screen. And here's a couple more video tutorials I thought you might enjoy.